Hey everybody, welcome back. So first of all, I am doing laundry today, so you're going to hear the washing machine running in the background. I hope that does not disturb you too much. Um, I apologize for that, but it's life. <laughs> so I have a coloring book video for you today that's actually probably going to be done in installments. Um, I wanted to film the coloring books in my collection that I have not colored in yet. Um, part of that came from seeing the tag that people were doing about um, uncolored books that they want to color in. Um, and I just thought I would show all the books I have that I haven't colored in. At first I thought I was going to do all the books I have that I either haven't colored in or only done one page in. And then I'm like, no, that's way too much. <laughs> I just Because I have a lot and I, I just don't want it to be so massive. And I kind of didn't know how I wanted to do it. Did I want to do it all in one giant long video? Because normally... YouTube tells us to do shorter videos, um, you know, that those are more popular. But, like, in the coloring community, long videos are very normal, um, and people enjoy them, especially when it comes to hauls and collections and things like that. But I thought if I start to show even a couple pages from each book, that it would be, like, massive, maybe three hours. And I don't have the time to upload a video like that. And so, um, also, I'm organizing my stash as I put things back and so I think it's going to take me a few days to go through all of my books. So I'm going to do it in installments. So um, I have pulled some out today and I'm going to get started and um, they're not in any particular order because I'm very disorganized. I'll start out organized and I'll have like um, all my coloring books arranged by illustrator or publisher and then as I pull them out, I'm not always tidy about putting them back where I got them from. So some of them are out of order. But the first ones I'm going to show you are all from Deborah Muller. So I do have a ton of Deborah Muller books, but I have some that are not colored in. So I thought I would show them to you. So the first one is one of her posh books, um, Prayers for Inspiration and Peace. Um, I think I got this from Ollie's, um, even though it doesn't have the Ollie's tag I probably pulled it off but um, I have all the posh books I got from uh, I, I got from Ollie's so and this book is just uh, double-sided lots of pages and um, different psalms and pictures and um, lots and lots of stuff just shows Deborah's big range I have another one of these but I have colored in that um, the next one is Mer Kitties in Love. That is a Zen Doodle title. Um, uh, there's another Mer Kitties one, but I have colored in that one. So this is just little mermaid cats in love. It's very cute, but I have not colored in it yet. So many books, so little time. Mer Kitties in Love. The next one is a color by number that I purchased not long ago. This is the Zen Doodle Stained Glass Dazzling Art to Color and Display. I will probably be coloring in this very soon. Um, I'm just looking forward to uh, trying these out. This one and the next one I'm going to show you. And I, it hasn't been too long since I showed you guys these. I got this on um, Book Outlet. And this one is the Zen Doodle Color by Number Spring Awakening um, Blooming Gardens to Color and Display. And I'm really excited oops, about this one in particular because I think, oh, there you go. I like the bold lines and different stuff. I'm ready for spring. <laughs> so this one is the Zen Doodle Spring Awakening by Deborah Muller. And now I'm going into some of her self-published titles. Now, uh, some of them I actually have colored up out of the PDF because I do have PDF versions of her books, all her books too. Um, and sometimes I'll color one of those um, before I purchase the hard copy of the book. Um, but in this case, all the books I'm going to show you, they have not been colored in, in the book, although I may have colored a PDF. So... I believe this one was her 2020 fall series, I think. I'm not positive, but it's really cute. 
One thing I that made me feel good about my Deborah Muller books is that my books that I have colored in far outweighed the ones I haven't colored in. So that was good at least. The next one is Little Witches and I have colored the PDF. Uh, I have colored a PDF of this. This book is adorable. Seriously. It is super cute. That one's adorable. I love the Hermione one. Yeah, really, really cute. But I did color a PDF in that one. Um, this one is creepy but cute coloring book. And I think I may have colored a PDF in this one also. How to cook a rabbit. <laughs> so funny. Love. Love. <laughs> so funny. Uh, that one was creepy but cute. The next one is the Big Yoga Coloring Book. It's funny to me that it's called Big Yoga because there's really not that many. It's not like a giant book. There's not like a ton of pages on it or anything, but, but still, it's neat. This is some of Deborah's older artwork. Her older stuff is very zen doodly. Like, you can really see all the doodles. That one is the big yoga coloring book. Now I am going to link all the Deborah Muller books in the description section below um, where you can purchase them on Amazon and her uh, Etsy store just because I promote Deborah and um, I'm always happy to do that. I might not do that for all of the books I show you guys because I seriously would have like a billion links and I Ain't nobody got time for all that. <laughs> but this is Christmas Angels. Plus I am an affiliate link um, with Amazon. And I just don't know if there's like a limit to how many links you can have and all that kind of stuff. I, I just don't know. But I'm happy to link the Deborah ones for sure. So. Christmas Angels. Next one is Fantasy Coloring Book. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if I did color one page or I have a whip and I didn't realize it. I don't think so, though, but maybe. Love that one. This one is really nice because it has, it shows like, um, how, um, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Versatile Deborah is. She doesn't just do like those big eyed cute girls. You know, she has a lot of different, um, types of art available to purchase in color. I thought maybe I started one in here, but I guess I didn't. So that one is fantasy. The next one is Monster Tees Pinups. This one I got and it's off. I mean, it's got the entire picture in it, but it's off center. Um, but every page it did, none of the pages are cut off really so I don't mind um, slightly like that one slightly cut off at the top but uh, doesn't bother me too much so I still <laughs> make my head spin she cracks me up night of the stripping dead fun monster tees pinups This one is Dark Darlings Coloring Book, and I believe I did print or color a PDF out of this one also, but not actually in the book. Yeah, I know for a fact I did, actually. This one I colored a PDF of. So Dark Darlings coloring book. Day of the Dead Girls, Skulls, and Pets.
Dan the Dead Girl Skulls Pets. Two more in my Deborah Muller's pile. Mermaid Wonders, a mindful coloring book for adults. This book is gorgeous. And this is different. Okay, this is actually published by IDW, which is the same publisher that does like the beauty of horror books. Um from Alan Robert. So the paper is different. It's very thick, um, nice paper. It's not Amazon. And there's like a quote on one page and then the illustration on the following page. Really fun. These mermaids are. Look how cute. This book is so nice. I'm so glad I picked that up. It's a really, really nice one. So that's Mermaid Wonders, a mindful coloring book for adults. And then the last one I have from Deborah that I have not colored in is Space Girls and Aliens, which I can't believe I haven't colored in this one yet because it's so fun. Hmm. So that is Space Girls and Aliens. And that is it for my Deborah books. Now, I cannot guarantee, though, that you're not going to find, I'm not going to come across one that's been put back out of place and weird. So hold on and I'll grab the next stack. Okay, continuing on, and this is random. I don't know why I have this one just stuck out in the middle of everything. This is Miss Fluff, a Magical Mermaid's coloring book. This book is super, super cute, and I need to be coloring in it because it is adorable. I hope it's not too dark and you guys can see this. It's very cloudy and dark today. I love this book. This book is right at my alley for sure. It's adorable. So that is Miss Fluff. Miss Fluff's Magical Mermaids coloring book. Then the next ones I have, the next few that I have are like um, Asian books. There's this one, and I don't know the name of it. Um, I got it from Amazon. It's one of those princesses ones. It has the um, backgrounds already filled in for you, and it is double-sided, but the backgrounds are already in. And there's a cat that I didn't know was up in the window. <laughs> there she goes. <clears throat> so I do have two of these, but I have colored in one of them, so... These books are fun, but the paper is super, super smooth. I struggled with this, uh, the other one that I purchased like that um, because the paper was so smooth. I just felt like I couldn't get a good uh, pencil, couldn't get, get a good grip on the paper. <clears throat> so now I have some another one. This book was given to me by my friend, um, Rhonda, and she... Um, gave this to me and I really really love it and it's different it's like a fashion book and some of it's colored in and some of it isn't and I wish I could read everything that was in there but I love I love the dresses and the the fashion and stuff like that this is gorgeous I haven't looked at this book in a long time I kind of like tucked it away and I forgot about it but seriously so like it's got like the colored version on one page and then the uncolored version next to it. Look at that. Mm, I need to pull this out for sure. So yeah, I really, really like this one. Look at that. It's also fun. That reminds me of Audrey Hepburn, the one with the hat. Yeah, it's just really, really fun. That reminds me of Audrey Hepburn also. I don't know. Fun. I'm going to have to keep that one out where I have it handy. Where I have it handy. Okay. Next we have, I think this is the Girls with Poem. This was the first one, right, that she came out with? Girls with Poem. I also have Girls with Music, and I never, and I did color in that one. But um, we've all seen this one before. It has some beautiful illustrations in it. You can get this book on Etsy. Um, but I mean, everybody's pretty familiar with it, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, did I know it was even signed? I didn't know that it was signed. Did I know that? Oh, 2018, February 3rd. So I've had it for a little over three years now and never colored in it. Hmm. Better get crack a <laughs> All right. Next is, um, 
I can't remember the name of this. I did remember it, but I have forgotten. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Something Beautiful Women, something I don't remember. But it's, um... Kind of like fashions, sort of. Let's see, purchase here. It's beautiful. The paper is like ivory instead of white. Really, really nice. I remember how bad I wanted this book. Like I saw, I think on Coloring Queen, um, on her blog and um, or a video or something, and I was like. Oh my gosh, I have to get this, and that was it. I got it, and that was it. Okay, this one, um, it hasn't been too terribly long since I picked this one up. I think this one is, like, costume, costume something. Is it written on the side? No. Somewhere in here I think it's written. But anyways, I got this one from, um... AliExpress and it's beautiful and I wanted it for years before I bought it and I still haven't colored in it yet it's gorgeous I mean seriously that's gorgeous you get a poster costume party I guess that's what it's called costume party and then I think I've seen it other places listed under like Rococo Fashions or Rococo Fashion Party, something like that. Um, the next one is, next couple, I don't really, I'm not positive of the titles of them, but they came from AliExpress and Etsy. This one I think was an AliExpress one. This one might be the Drunk Yan Yan or something. I don't know. They all have such strange names when you translate them. So... But these books are always available on AliExpress um, for like $15 in free shipping or $14 in free shipping. So, and they're beautiful. And I don't, I didn't color in them. This one also I got from AliExpress. Same type of book. Beautiful, beautiful, with the poster at the beginning. And here is another one. Now this one I got from Etsy. I know, I remember getting this one. And this one is called like R-O-T-G-U Lady. And I don't know how to pronounce that word, but um, I know that's the name of this one. And this one has like a lot of vintage fashions in it. really pretty. I love that one. So like, you know, when I look at this, it tells me that I don't ever need to order another coloring book again, but I have a bunch on my, <laughs> I think I just added like a ton on my wish list for Amazon. Um, uh, this one, I think this one might be like the beautiful wedding dress one. It's got like the gold foiling on there. And this one I got from AliExpress also. So pretty. So pretty. So there is that one. A lot of these are also illustrated by Dada Mao, but I don't know for sure exactly like which ones. Um, and then these are some random ones that I just had stuck where they didn't belong, but they were still stuck there. This one is the Archie and Sabrina Halloween coloring book. I think this one came from Book Outlet. fun. That's fun. Um, this one is The Power of You, A Little Miss Tyne, 
or tiny coloring book from D. Gelly. And when I purchased this book, it was not available on Amazon, but it is now. So I will definitely link it in the description section. Um, just because, uh, it's really, it's really neat. If you like doing like kind of these like quirky little post portraits or like these Jane Davenport type, um, girls or anything like that, it's really interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. And they're single-sided. <coughs> Pardon me. So I will link that on Amazon for sure. Okay, sorry, I had to take a drink. Again, now these are kind of random because, like I said, they weren't all put away like they were supposed to be. And I, I figured it makes more sense for me to organize them as I put them back than try to organize them before I did the video. That's just my process anyways. So this one is Just Add Color Carnival um, by Sarah Walsh. I also have her Day of the Dead one, but that one I have colored in before. This is a really fun book. The The um, style is so folk, folksy and like eclectic. I really, really like it. Never colored in it though, but I think it's a lot of fun. It's just very different. I like it quite a bit. Very fun. Very fun. So Carnival by Sarah Walsh. Next is one I showed that I wanted to color in this winter, um, and now it's almost March and I haven't touched it. <laughs> it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the Big Bads and Monsters. I I don't think I have the other Buffy book. I don't think I do. So, um, yeah, I, I remember I wanted this one because it has the, the, like, scary people, the monsters, which to me was the highlight of, of the show Buffy. I loved all the scary creatures and whatnot. So I far preferred this one to the other one, which is why I think I didn't get the other one. Fun. Yeah. So that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Big Bads and Monsters. All right, next I have some Coloring Heaven. Um, magazines. I don't have a subscription to them at all. I just purchase them individually when I see one that I like. I have thought before about getting the um, subscription, but then they come out and I don't really, like, I don't like all of them. So I think I'd end up selling half of them on eBay or gifting them. And so I just don't get them. So I, but I have a few. So this one is the Halloween special. Um, I'm not sure. Does it have like the year on them or not? I can't remember. I don't, I did not get one this year. I don't think. Um, this one is Lisa Matrokin and Ennis Guerrero. Looks like Molly Harrison and Selena Fennick also. Oh wait, you know what? I might have colored in this one. Now that I think about it, you guys, I've colored in this one. Yep, I forgot. Sorry. Eh, that one gets taken out. <laughs> I forgot all about that. As soon as then I start, when I realized Selena Fennick was in there, I'm like, oh, I colored that one. Okay, here we go. This is kind of funny. Coloring Heaven, Timeless Beauty Special, 40 Beautiful Portraits and Flowers from Momo Girl. Okay, so Nicole, if you're watching, didn't we say that I didn't get this? I thought I got it, and then you told me that I said I wasn't going to get it because I already had the books, but here it is, or am I confused? Anyways, I know I haven't colored in this one at all, so this is the Momo Girl one. How funny, because I didn't think I had this one, and now... I do. So that one is the Momo Girl special. And then this one is the Dark Fantasy special. That one is 40 exclusive uh, melancholy designs from Ennis Guerrero. And I have not colored in this one yet, but I really should because I love her stuff. It is so deliciously dark. I, I love it. I know you can purchase, like I said, the individual issues. Um, sometimes they sell out probably this one is one that's sold out, but you can go on their website and see what they have left available. Um, and I was picking these up also at Barnes and Noble. Sometimes I'd get them at Barnes and Noble and sometimes I would get them at, um, just order them directly from Coloring Heaven's website. But I haven't been to Barnes and Noble in, shoot, buddy, a long time. 
<laughs> since before the pandemic struck. And I just now saw that Jessica Robertson um, and the Sparkle Sparkle Squad, Sparkle, I can't remember what she is, her channel, but she said um, that she got a, one at her Walmart now. So check your Walmart and see if they are available there. So, yeah. And then this one was the very first one I ever purchased, I think. This is the Mitzfit, Mitz, Mitzfit, <laughs> the Misfit Special. That's the White Stag one. Um, that one's from a couple years ago, so, yeah. Haven't colored in that. This one is Fairies and Friends Special, and I think this one was gifted to me from Audra, I believe, sent me this one. She had purchased it for herself, and it wasn't to her taste, I'm pretty sure. I love the Art Nouveau style in that. I need to color in this. That's really pretty. So that one is Fairies and Friends Special um, Enchanting Designs by Meredith Dillman. And I'm not really familiar with Meredith Dillman, so it's kind of nice to have that. This one is the Gothic Fairies Special. This is the Micah Jelena. I have some of Micah Jelena that I purchased from her Etsy store, and I never colored it. And I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, like, weird. Because they're really cute, and at the same time, like, I like them, but then... I'm not really interested in coloring them. I don't know. Probably once I got sat down and started doing it, I would be. I mean, I like the way they look and everything. I don't know what my deal is. But anyways, that's the Gothic Fairy special from Micah Jelena. And then I think the last one, unless I have some more stuck right away somewhere else. This one is World of Anime special. And this is designs from Collateral Damage Studios. I'm not really crazy about this one, but it was at Barnes & Noble. And I um, we were just shopping in there one day. And Keith said, well, if you want to pick it up or something, I can flip through it for you. He's always enabling me. Uh, so yeah, I don't, yeah, this is, this one I'm not crazy about. I might put this one up. I don't know. I might do something with this one. Or he might want it. Keith might want it. Oh, well, I'd color, I'd color that. Oh, I'd color that one too. So maybe I could split it with him, like the robot -y weird ones he could do, and I could do the ones like that, because those, those are pretty. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I do like that one after all. So that is the World of Anime special from Collateral Damage Studios. Alright, let me move these aside here. And then I have some, like, superhero type ones. Uh, comics, comics, I guess I should say. More than superhero. Because here's another Archie. And I didn't, I guess I forgot I even had this one. I knew I had the Halloween one. But this is the Archie's Coloring Book. But Keith got me this for Christmas one year, I think. Fun. I used to buy the Archie um, comics a lot when I was a kid. I especially like the Bre the Bretty, the Betty and Veronica. Ooh, look at that one. Those are cute. Yeah, I should color that. I like that. Um. I used to get the Betty and Veronica ones, and I used to get um. Like the Josie and the Pussycats and Sabrina. I really liked all that when I was a kid. I used to get those. Like if I was good, my mom would use that as a way to bribe me <laughs> to be good. And then she'd get me one of those like thick ones, you know, that was like a little book or whatever. So that's the Archie coloring book. Then I have this one it is Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad adult coloring book um, from DC Comics. I'm not a huge um, Harley Quinn person. I'm not really into that that much, but I think he's got me a whole bunch of these um, superhero comics and uh, coloring books and figured we could work on them together or something. You can see how that's worked out. <laughs> but I do like them. One thing uh, that is true with me, though, is I don't know enough about these characters. I would probably, like, color them my own way versus... Although I do like Harley Quinn's colors, that pink and blue, you know, I always like that. This one is um, Supergirl. Let 
adult coloring book. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Yeah, see, I don't even know who those characters are, so, so I would just do my own thing and not worry about whatever. My characters would be in an alternate timeline. I know enough about comics and um, superhero movies to say that they could do an alternate timeline, <laughs> an alternate universe. Now this one, Wonder Woman, I do enjoy my Wonder Woman. I'm a big Wonder Woman fan. Um, so this is the DC Comics Wonder Woman coloring book. And there's a lot of really neat um, illustrations in this one. Very cool. She looks pretty muscular there. It depends on who draws her. Um, sometimes she looks more... I know the guy's name that does the the more muscular ones. But I can't think. Uh, Alex. I can't think right now. Uh, but I like her when she looks more feminine. I'm more of the Linda Carter Wonder Woman instead of like a big brawny muscle-bound Wonder Woman. So... That was the Wonder Woman one. Okay, and now I've got, let me see. Here's two more. They're actually out of order here. So let me pull these out first. This one is DC Art, uh, Comic Art Coloring Creative Fun for Superhero Fans for Big Kids Only. I think we got these at Barnes & Noble one day. See, things about the pandemic that have totally messed up everything. <laughs> I used to love, we used to love going to Barnes and Noble and we would just stay there for like an hour or even longer getting like a drink and browsing and looking at everything. I really miss that. I, I really, really miss that. But yeah, I think this, these came from Barnes and Noble, like their bargain section. Justice League. So there's that one. And then this one is like another version of it. This one is superhero fun. Superhero coloring creative fun for superhero fans. Again, the big kids only. And this one looks like it's got a lot of the female. Oops. A lot of the female characters. Yeah, like, I like this kind of Wonder Woman, and I like that kind of Wonder Woman, where she's, like, pretty and feminine, but when she's, like, super brawny, I'm not into that. Nothing against chicks that like to lift weights and stuff like that, to each your own. Yeah, like this. I don't really care for this much. She's, like, way too muscular in her shoulders. For me, you know, for my taste, for the Wonder Woman that I like. So... So there's that one. And then here's two random ones that don't have anything to do with anything and they're not comics or anything. And actually I was looking for this book at Christmas time. The Jim Short Angel Coloring Book. I got this from Ollie's. Do I still have the price tag on it? Let me see. Yes. For $1.49. And when this book came out, I remember Coloring Queen did a, a, a flip through, <clears throat> excuse me, of it. And I think it was like 14 bucks on Amazon. It was expensive. There's like gift tags in the back. But I bought it when I saw it at Ollie's because I'm like, what? This book was like 15 bucks. <laughs> and then I'm not really into Jim Shore, but I thought some of the angels were really pretty. Like that one. When we go to Frank and Muth, they always have a, um, at Browner's, they always have a big display of Jim Shore angels and Christmas, you know, Disney stuff and everything. Well, that's really pretty. Maybe it's come down in price now. I don't know from when it first came up. And then I know I got this one from Ali's also, and it's really random. It's Beauty and the Beast with quotations from the original story. Yeah, it's got the Ali's $1.99 price tag on it. Some of these are kind of like wallpapery, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
they got a lot of wallpaper. Yeah, see? A lot of wallpaper pages. And that's a bummer. Like, there's a pretty one. A bell. So I guess if you're only paying like $1.99 or $1.49, then it's okay that there's so much wallpaper. Or you could cut up those pages and use them for something else, like some kind of journaling or scrapbooking or whatever you want to do, art journaling, junk journals. But um, I wouldn't have wanted to pay full price for this and then get stuck with a ton of wallpaper. You know what I mean? So that one is Beauty and the Beast, a, a coloring book. So <clears throat> I think I'm done with this part for now um, because I have pulled out. So this has been you guys this part one has been um one and a half of my bookshelves so i still have uh another one and a half bookshelves to go on the, the bookshelf i keep near me and then i have another set that has three shelves on it that's full and another um, bookshelf that i um, share with keith and i have a whole shelf there um of my coloring books almost a shelf and a half so I have quite a bit more to go but like I said I want to try to um, kind of put some order to these as I put them back so I'm gonna do this in part so you might not see the next part for a couple days or maybe another day or two I don't really have much going on tomorrow so I could probably work on that then but um, I will link what I can in the description section below I am an Amazon affiliate just so you know so I do get a small profit um, if you purchase through a link, but I'll link all the Deborah Muller books, um, the Asian books I got at AliExpress and Etsy, so I don't have to worry about those. And, um, you know, I'll, some of these ones that I particularly like quite a bit, I'll, I'll link those too, and you can check them out if you want to. Question or comment below, and please stick around for the next parts. I know when people do videos in parts, usually the part one is the one that, that everybody watches the most. But I have some great books <laughs> that are coming up. I have, like, just, I have a lot of good books, like my hardcover books that I haven't colored in, and, and all my Creative Haven, and my Dover, and, and just, um... Uh, got some like Hannah Lynn. I've got my Carla Maganas. I've got so many more good, good books to show you guys that I haven't colored in yet. So definitely stay tuned for those um, parts and check them out if you want to. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.